All right. Oh, it looks so good. It also looks so good with this chair removed. I just have to drive like this now. Right, back in Alegria after two and a half months and I'm gonna have a look at what's changed since we've left. Hopefully nothing's got too moldy. First thing I've noticed is all of these plants around the outside of the bus. Callie's very excited. Are you excited to be back? Are you excited to be home? Okay, right, let's have a little look inside. You wanna have a look in, Callie? What's going on in here? Oh, it smells, hmm, kind of smells musky, but not crazy amounts of visible mold. Definitely needs airing out. I'm gonna get a fan on. We've got all of our sheets and stuff that we vacuum packed. Okay. This is looking pretty good. So this is the dehumidifier that I set up, which I think is still running. Yeah, we've got the uh, timer plugs on, running. Nice. Honestly, it looks pretty good. And then the bedding, hopefully there's no crazy animals living in here. This is something I left on to scare away little spiders and mice and other creepy crawlies, and I think they've worked. <gasps> you finding a little cozy spot there? We're gonna get some air in here, Cali. Get some air, some air out a little bit. The bus is a complete state, but thankfully there's barely any mold, which is what we were worried about. And the reason is, if you remember the last video, I have this dehumidifier that's still on a timer that's been running every day for four hours from the solar power. So that's saved the bus. But the plan is I need to clean up and then also I need to finish this piece of flooring here and I need to put in some more chipboard to finish off the underflooring and then I can lay down our new laminate. So there's quite a bit of work to do. Okay, so these are the two strips of wood I'm missing. I managed to go into a town nearby, Oratina, and buy an eight by four board of plywood, inch thick, which is basically, it's annoying I have to buy a whole nother sheet, but I can't figure out how to with the wood I've got left, fill those gaps. So, we have to cut into this. Maybe I can use this for something else. All right, we're back on it. We're gonna get this floor done today. I can feel it. At least the underflooring. is looking very lovely. So the underflooring down, the last few bits of chipboard. I've got all the laminate ready. I just need to lay it out, measure it. Um, I'm gonna go all the way from the bed to the front of the bus. Hopefully I've got enough. An idea that Raya had before we left was that she was basically questioning, do we need this huge driver's chair? And since we're not gonna be moving the bus, we're gonna move it like one last time just into position, but we could just put any chair there for that little 30 meter drive. So I'm gonna see how easy it would be to take this chair off because if we're gonna re-laminate, we may as well go under the chair because it looks like at the moment it's not, and then we can just match the laminate all the way to the front, give it a whole new lease of life. So that's what I'm gonna play around with. Let's see how we get on. It's probably an hour or so later. Couldn't really film what I was doing because it's pitch black and I was crawling under the bus, as you can tell by my very grimy arm. Anyway, the bolts that hold the chair in place were attached underneath the bodywork of the bus. So I had to crawl underneath, use another socket wrench to hold them in place, kind of jam it in position, and then undo the bolts. So I'm hoping the chair just lifts out now, but we'll see. 
Oh yeah. Okay. It's kind of hard to see in the dark, but what I'm gonna do is clean this up and then tomorrow morning, I'll give you a fresh look at what we're working with. But I'm pretty excited about this. And then I think the idea is, I think we take this away, dismantle this, and we just install one long desk. The floor is pretty much ready to lay the new laminate on. I wanna just measure it all up first, then I'm gonna put this plastic foam layer that I saved from what I ripped off before. And the last thing I need to do is screw some of the boards down. So under here, the exhaust pipe came off and the floor seems to have warped up. So there's like the board, it isn't quite flat. So unless I screw this down, it's gonna be doing this. So I'm gonna screw that down where the cross beams are, which I've marked. And then all of this should be good. I'm just trying to get it as level as possible so the boards aren't kind of, it doesn't matter if over the full length they bend a little bit, but I don't want any like little steps. So where possible, I'll, I'll screw things down. And then the last thing I need to figure out, and maybe I can start and then figure this out, is am I gonna have enough to go under this unit in case we ever wanna move that? And then we've got the option to have something else there which is possible. And I think if I have got enough, I may as well go under it anyway. I just need to cut a little hole for the downpipe for the sink, but I think I might do it. <laughs> is oh totally not in shot at all what i've realized is i need to kind of stagger the boards i can't have like four in a row and then there's a line where they join so it means i'm going to go in a line down first from the bed all the way along this edge to here and that will be our flat line ready to lay the other ones okay i've had to bite the bullet and take the fridge out of this little cubby hole because it's leaking the gasket, like the seal around the edge of the fridge door is leaking. It's created more dampness under here. So I'm just trying to check out the severity of that and then also need to kind of line up where the laminate flooring is going to go. I've also just found a mouse nest inside the fridge. I'm pretty confident the boards are in leveled as best they can be and I've screwed some together a little bit I've screwed them down to the battens under the floorboards I think they're good the next step is relaying this thin kind of uh, plastic foam layer over the top and then uh, we'll start putting the boards in but I've got the dehumidifier and this fan just trying to dry out where the fridge has been leaking it's not too bad but it was a bit damp so I might put the dehumidifier down there and run it for a few hours Okay, so I've been doing a lot of fiddly things. I scraped and dried out under the fridge. It's looking way better. I figured out where it's leaking from. This basically the seal had lifted away, but thankfully I think I fixed it. So I pushed it back in at the bottom. I might need to, I just scraped a lot of bumpy rust off here, which is why it wasn't sticking. It wasn't connecting, but I might see if I can paint some kind of gloss paint over that or stick something on it. But it is, ceiling that shouldn't leak anymore i might put something underneath it just in case anyway i'm struggling to figure out exactly how i'm going to lay these laminate boards down but i think i'm just going to start in the corner and kind of go across and just see how we get on really i've come up with a plan it's a bit long but i'm going to take this unit outside again or at least push it to that side and laminate the floor underneath this um, I've got just enough. Hopefully I don't break any boards, but that means I don't have to worry about trying to kind of cut around this and figure it out. And it also means uh, it's just gonna be more waterproof underneath.
plan now is I've got this underfloor kind of insulating padding that I'm gonna lay down. I don't know if this is the right stuff, but this is the only stuff they have, so. taping these sections together and then I'm gonna do the laminate flooring halfway and then I'm gonna move things and do the other half because annoyingly it's about to start raining and I can't store things outside or on the roof so I've just got to shuffle them around something I've been struggling with is figuring out exactly how many boards I need of the laminate flooring and I was trying to do the math and be like, how many inches is it? How many square feet? And then measuring the square footage of the bus. It all got really confusing. So I made up a to scale diagram. So check this out, right? This is the floor plan of the bus. And then I measured out each of these boards and basically counted how many I had and positioned them all in. There's currently a small strip that's gonna be left here, which I think I can do later. But other than that, we're pretty good. Right, I was meaning to do this before it started raining, because this isn't ideal, but to get the staggered laminate boarding, I need to cut a board in half to kind of do that kind of half, one, half, one. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's a bit annoying because I need to do some cuts, but I can't right now because it's just chucking with the rain. But I'm positioning as many as I can. I think I can do two more before I need to stop thinking about the ones in there. I did drive into town this morning to try and get another pack of this, but the nearest shop that has it is like over an hour away back in San Jose. So let's see how I get on, but I might pick up another pack next time I'm coming through San Jose. It looks like the rain has held off or lightened enough for me to get this cut in. I messed up last two cuts I did. Well, I messed this one up anyway, because the blade damaged the laminate, but I also cut them the wrong way. So basically, this lip has to be on the left to hook like that, right? But I cut, what I should have done is cut the bottom of the board. So cut across here, leaving the lip that I need here to clip in the next board. So basically, yeah, like that little lip there, it would need to be like this. Anyway, I think I figured out how I've remapped out with my mistake and I think I can still do it. So I'm gonna try and cut again outside. So I think I'm gonna cut this, I'm, I'm gonna put a hole in, cut it in half and then push it back together. I think that's the best option. Go on with this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Oi, that is just fantastic. A little bit off, but that's okay. Filled in red where I've put the boards down. So these are the re remaining boards that we need to put in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the next two bits cut. Let's see how they look. Okay, that's in. Another moment of truth. I've just put this 
piece in. Mm, okay. Well, it's pretty much in. Right, I'm gonna move the whole work surface and sink back into place now. I've got all the flooring down. distracted started fixing the um, the kitchen worktop because the woods cracking crumbs and waters kind of leaking down underneath so got some wood glue and I've got some screws I'll show you what I'm doing check it out there's a crack here there's a crack here there's I mean this isn't one slab of wood so these were originally screwed together but they've started parting so um, I've glued in here and here I'm gonna try and screw kind of diagonally through to tighten those gaps and the same down there and then we'll get it on I'm literally bleeding into the wood glue and I can see my blood mixing into the glue and putting on the worktop it's a whole nother meaning to blood sweat and tears It is quarter past two in the morning. I haven't finished the floor. I've just tidied up as best I can for now. Um, but the hardest part of the floor is done. These are the last bits to do here. It's not too complicated. I think I can bash that out in the morning. That's the plan. So I've cleared it ready. I need to put the foam layer on and then the boards. What do you think, Callie? Callie's a bit weirded out by the floor. She's can't figure out what's going on. She's like, it feels different, you know. <laughs> Kelly, you should be asleep. It's two. It's quarter past two in the morning. It is the next morning, and I'm ready to finish this flooring finally. So this is where we're at, and I just need to lay down the rest of this. Okay, let's do this. to put in the final laminate boards and then the floor will be done. Let's do it. Okay, I'm cutting the final few boards to fit exactly around the front. So this is the first kind of diagonal cut I'm doing. And that is gonna fit right there alongside that. That is lovely, that is. This is wild, right? I've got two spaces left. One is down here and the other is this little strip by the wall. Now I measured this, this is four and a half inches and this is three inches. The boards are seven and a half inches. So I've literally cut one and I think it's basically gonna do both bits. Like how fluky is that? So this bit should fit in here perfectly. I mean, there's a little tiny strip left and then this one, yeah, so look, this one, this one fits in, so this one fits in here perfectly. And then this one, once I've trimmed it, will fit in there perfectly. Dream, an absolute dream. Let's do it that way. The floor is done. Check it out. All right. Oh, it looks so good. It also looks so good with this chair removed. I just have to drive like this now. 
I am dripping with sweat and hungry. I'm about to have some lunch. What do you think? What do you think of our new floor, Kelly? You happy? Yeah, she's happy. Okay, the flooring is done. I've also just put in this big bit of plywood that I bought for some of the underflooring. There was so much left over. It was kind of annoying. I had to buy a whole eight by four sheet. But anyway, I cut a two feet width, eight foot length desk and I haven't fit it in place yet, but it's super cool for working. So much space. I'm just cleaning up some of my electronics that got a tiny bit of mold on them and then sorting out what I need to bring on the next trip. But um, yeah, today is mission cleanup, ready for Raya coming back next month. When we arrive back next month, I want the bus to be as nice as possible. So I'm doing a big clear up. Um, hopefully the bus will look really really nice and then I can just leave some moisture absorbing pots around have the dehumidifier running whilst we're away and um, yeah hopefully it's just lovely to come back to tidy as clean as possible and uh, yeah that's the plan All right let's clean up okay the bus is done this is it this is how I'm leaving it for the next month until we're back um, oh I would say that was a successful mission getting the bus sorted and ready the flooring uh, couldn't be happier with and um, yeah there's many more projects i think some of the future stuff that me and raya want to do um, in different phases of the life of this bus is at some point we want to take the toilet and shower out and have that external to the bus just creating more room for a small bedroom i don't know it's going to be like a multiple week project in the dry season maybe next year. Right, um, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I'm gonna try and pull forward a little bit so I can straighten up. It's the weirdest feeling with this, with the seat slipping.